Hi everyone, I'm back today with a highly requested video, what's in my pandemic pin case. So as you can see, I'm using the Milu Brick, which is one of our newer Milu products we have on the site. I really like using the Brick partly because I can fit some like larger stationary items inside of it, like pin packs or pin stickers and it feels like a little more secure than if I were to just throw it in my Estia or you know in my rec which I still use all the time I can't really fit those little you know like square goods very very well in there especially like the stickers will get wrinkled and stuff so I've been really loving the brick a little bit of background about this product because why not I think you guys might like that this was originally, you know, the Anthea, which is like this big, like wallet size. We also sell that on our store. But basically somebody wanted like a jumbo version of that. And I think I had to use it as a big wallet. And when I saw it, I said, please, please make that for my store. And he resisted for quite a while, but then a year ago when we were in Greece working with them, I think he couldn't say no to my face. So that's why he started making these for my store. We decided to call it the brick for obvious reasons, kind of shaped or looks like a brick, but much, much, much softer. But this is the brick in burgundy and we have sold out of our burgundy. I'll go over the other colors we have after we get into the pin case but I can definitely get more of this burgundy leather. So let me know if you want this exact one and I will hook you up. Okay, so why don't we start with the big open zipper pocket and just get right in. <laughs> so it's got the floral lining like a lot of their cases do. And there's actually an internal zip pocket in here just like in the Estia, which is really nice. I think I've talked a lot about how like sometimes if I'm gonna put hand lotion on or something, I'll throw my rings in there so I don't lose them. So I always like having that internal zip pocket. I, so this is what I'm talking about. You can kind of see how I, I could never put this in my rec. This like sort of big rectangular product or some of my favorite stationary products. I'll put in the brick and it just, it becomes like a planner kit. It's This is almost like, not just a pin case, but like a planner kit case. So, I always have a lot of custom multis. These right here are all uni style fit, kind of ridiculous. You know, I will do some swatching just because some people like that and so why not? But as far as uni style fit goes, I almost never use the 0.5, it's too thick for me. I tend to use 0.28 if I'm using my like smaller size Jibun Techo, or I almost always use 0.38. So why don't I swatch as we go? So I'm gonna zoom here just for this part. And then just kind of show you. So we've got Unis Outfit Sky Blue, Blue Black. These are all 0.38 black. Nice juicy pens, especially if you're using nice paper. I'm not sure if that's straight up orange or not. And then the violet. So that's that one and then just to compare for you, here's like the 0.28 under the 0.38. So if I'm going to be writing even tinier, that's the nice brown black, pretty gorgeous. And then I've got this style, which is the Meister. And that's, I believe they call golden yellow. And it's fun to use, although I don't really use it for lettering. And then it looks like I took the rest of my refills out of there for some reason. And then just more of the same, except for this red. 
So I feel like I get a little bit excessive with my uni style fit, but I'm doing an honest video, so I'm just showing you what's up here. And then let's see, let's pull out some other custom multi options I have in here and I'll actually zoom back out for this part so you can kind of see in there. So other custom multi pins I tend to keep in here. Well, this is a relatively new barrel, but I changed out to it recently because it's so cute to me. It's Lucy patting Snoopy's head and I put the, I love the High Dexy Coletto metallic colors. So I put those in there. Let me swatch these. This is a pen. I don't know if you can like, if the metallics are really gonna show up here, but um, you know what? I actually have some black paper, so I'll swatch them on black too. But these are so smooth. They look so cool in your planner. I use this ink in my Jibun Techo and it does beautifully. And usually I'm using my Jibun Techo Biz just for reference, but works wonderfully in both. Let me just, I think in the metallics might. Um, give you a better idea on the black of what they look like here. And then you see that, so. But I actually use the metallics, like I said, in my Jibun Techo and totally comes up metallic, even when you're using them in your planner on like white paper. Um, oh my gosh, this video is gonna take forever if I don't hurry up, okay. So that's Coletto with metallic. <laughs> Always have a Sarasa Select. A lot of times I have more than one Sarasa Select, but right now I have one and it's just a three color barrel. And what do I have going on here? I have Sarasa Select 0.4 blue black. I almost exclusively use 0.4, um, that's the magenta. Unless I'm and see, now that I said that, I'm like, I have a 0.3 pale blue in here, which needs to be replaced, evidently. Yes, oh, you know what? I knew that. I knew that, and, haha, -ha, that's what this is. I was gonna replace, <laughs> I was gonna replace it with the brown, and then I got distracted, because that's the name of the game lately. That's the thing about the pandemic is, especially for a parent, Holy moly, it's life is hard right now, people. Put this brown point four. Yeah, that's better, okay. So there's my brown point four, and it's so nice and juicy, and I love it. <laughs> All right, custom multi pens, okay? I always got a bunch of those. Now, I do have some highlighter type pens in here. This is from the Unipropus window series, but I love this black fine liner end of it, so that's how I use it. This is the, let me see, I gotta, am I zoomed? Yes. This is the mild liner in mild citrus green. Love that, I use it all the time. This is the Unipropus window in smoke green. I love greens, if you can't tell. And this is the Friction Light natural color in pale orange. So this is an erasable highlighter. And I love that too. And then let me show you how this writes nicely over the top. And that's actually how I use it a lot. You can also lay down like that and then use pastel or white ink over the top of it, which I sometimes do, but I don't seem to have that in my pen case right now. So you'll just have to try it out for yourself sometime. Okay, now this is almost the nearly embarrassing part is I always have a ton of Sarasa grands and I'm pretty good at remembering what's in everything. So let's just, 
<laughs> let's just go through it. Okay, this is Sarasa in blue, black, and this is point four. This one's fun. So this is the Sarasa marble in the color cotton candy. And I use that in my Jibun Techo all the time. Love, love, love. This one is Sarasa blue in point four. So this is the Cassis Black in the Strassa Clip Vintage. And this is the, you know, of course the Vintage Grand. And this only comes in 0.5 millimeters. So that's about the only time you'll see me using something thicker than a 0.4. Just my preference. You know, I am a tiny writer and the combination of being a tiny writer and using, you know, really nice quality Japanese paper is that you will not find fine pen scratchy. If you write bigger letters, you know, I'm talking like, this is how you write. The, the more you write kind of like this, as opposed to this, you're gonna want a thicker tip. The, the pen's gonna start feeling scratchy to you, especially if you use like recycled paper, like the standard paper in the US is this like pulpy, kind of thin recycled paper and it's it's just you know not great for fine tip gel pens it's just kind of a, a fact that's disappointing but true so this is the Bordeaux purple did I say the right name I feel like I'm that's right isn't it Bordeaux purple doesn't sound right for some reason that's also part of the vintage line and 0.5 millimeter Sorry, these pen case videos always get a little bit too chatty. Okay, now here's a fun one. I've talked about this in another video, but this is the, this is actually the Uniball One Bordeaux Black inside this. And so you're probably thinking like, Kimberly, how do you know the difference between what's in the two things? And you know what? I don't. And I grab the one wrong one all the time. And that's just, just a consequence, I guess, of, there's your zoom. Just a consequence of being unorganized, but that's the way it is. Okay, and then random gel pens. I always like Pilot Juice. This is Pilot Juice and Coffee Brown. So you'll almost always find a color of Pilot Juice in my pin case or Pilot Juice Up, which I don't have right now, but often I do. So this is Pilot Juice in the coffee brown. There are different brown shades, so I wanna make sure you know which one in the point three eight. Um, was that swatchy? And then Uniball one in blue black. And I'm just realizing lately, I've also been having the Royal Blue in, in my pen case. And I don't know where it is right now. I must've left it on my desk. Sorry about that. Um, okay, what else do we have? Oh yeah, I, I love this. This was just in our most recent stationery set, the Habit Tracker. This is one of my favorite things, you guys. So I like to make sure it gets a good lay down. This is so fun. So it's a paintable stamp by Midori and you know, it's not gonna smear. So let me just show you, you might go, maybe you wanna track the habits of drinking water. Just making this up. So, so say every day you're marking off when you did it. No smear, awesome. And then you can also color in, like maybe we want to make this birdie, this such a green color. 
and maybe we wanna actually I really like this golden yellow so it's really cool. You know, no smearing and you can paint over the top. I often use Kure Take real brush and faux brush, Kure Take clean color to paint over the top of these. And they're just super, super fun. Oh, you know what? Just see, this is what I would do. Let's give it, let's give it a metallic star here. Cause why not? Super cute. Okay, so I love, my habit tracker and um you know it's part of my planner kit i'm always having it in here why don't i go since i just went through this like random thing why don't i go through um i i always have these backups of these these are just like page flags really thin like let me show you how thin i love these I get excited when i'm talking about these uh, see that? See how thin that is? Can you see how thin that is? I mean, it's so thin. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have low battery. We're gonna have to end soon. Okay, and then um, I love these. Very simple. I use them um, in my notebook when I'm kind of doing bullet journal type planning. I always have a washi and one of these Kokuyo Kadu cuts. And this washi is so cute. Actually, let me show you how this whole thing works. I hope I do not run out of time. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so bad. Okay. So, this washi is so cute. You guys, it's so cute. Okay. Put it over the top. Look how cute this is. This is a round top washi. I'll link everything below so you can find it if you want to on our site. It's so cute. I have these. The Fude Touch. The Pentel Fude Touch sign pen. I have a whole video where I, where I swatch these. But let me just do it really quickly for you. I keep hitting the tripod. Sorry. Quick swatching. These are great colors. And they look so good together, so. There's that. I use these for headers in my planning, like bullet journal style pages. I use those for headers. Okay, I always have a pencil. This was just a sample monograph in the pastel colors. Really pretty mint green. I like that a lot. Really nice pencil. Really nice weight. Feels good when you're writing. Twist up eraser. And, but I always have a I like using external erasers because I don't like them looking like messy at the top. Does anyone else do that? Is that just me? Okay, and then, so I use like this. This is the one that reveals Mount Fuji as you erase. Super cute. I have a couple of the new hybrid dual metallics. So these have only been in my pin case about a month. I have the ice gray and the ocean green and I better swatch those. You can see my whole video swatching these if you want. So I'm just gonna be quick here. I'll lift it up so you can see. I like how this is my, oh, there we go. Ooh, pretty. I like how this is the simplified version of my pin case. Like, good grief. Okay, let's see. Oh, I always have a whipper. Yeah. And this is kind of new-ish, at least in the last, like, I don't know, six months. The Mark Style Colors Pen. This is like a wooden shaft pen. It has a gel needle point refill. 
I'll do it up here. This is the Marks Ink one, and it's like a, it's a 0.5 gel. I believe it's 0.5, but it is a needle tip, so it writes pretty fine. And then I always have a couple friction options. Where do I swatch? I'll do this one. So this is the Wine Red. And then see, it erases, no problem. And then who even knows what I have in here right now? Pink, probably baby pink, I don't know. Um, oh, and sky blue. I'm not sure what I was planning on doing. Maybe some kind of color combo inside my Jibun Techo because those colors kind of look cool together, but. Anyway, and I'll lay down that wine red again since I erased it there for you. Okay, so I got a lot going on. I got a lot of color. All this stuff, all this stuff. That's even, wait, okay. All this stuff <laughs> fits inside my pin case. Oh, and I do keep some things in the outside. Usually, what do I have in here? Sarasa Selects Pencil Units. No, actually, is this Sarasa? Hmm. This might be a uni style fit pencil unit. Have to sleuth that out. You'd think I would know better. And then, is there anything else? These. These are great. Midori Copper Index Clips. These are also super, super thin. And we love them. They're so good. You just you know, to mark a page in your notebook or your planner. Um, and then they just stick out a teeny tiny bit. So you don't have, you know, a huge thing sticking out from your notebook. So, so I think I'll just leave you watching me pack up my bag and please do not hesitate if you have any questions to put your comments down below per usual. I'm always hesitant to do another video of, I feel like I've done plenty of pin case videos, but people keep asking for them. So I feel like, okay, someone must, must like this and I'll just keep doing it as long as people are asking for it. Coming up soon, I know we have another newish Milu product on our site, um, which is the 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 Idra and I use that as my planner bag, so I will definitely be doing a video soon on the Idra. Now, before we go real fast, let me just show you I forgot to show you some other options. And this is important because people will ask and so I want to let you know. So this, oh, I love this one. This is the dark brown. I wish I could just, I wish you could feel this from home, but you can kind of see how soft and, oh, it's so wonderful. I love this dark brown one. I, I'm, I'm trying to limit myself to only one, but I'm, if I take another one, it's gonna be this dark brown. And then we also have the natural brown, which has an interesting trim inside that is not our usual floral. It's kind of fun. This one is also quite soft, but not as squishy as the one I just showed you. This is a deep, blue, very soft case, really pretty lining. It's pretty stunning. It's kind of a blue black. I like this one a lot. This one is the Sienna Brown, very nice leather. This comes in an option with floral or like a more neutral liner. But this is a very nice, very nice leather. It feels really good. We have this like cherry red one. Quite pretty. 
all of these leathers just feel so nice. I'm really happy with them. And there's also, there are some I'm not showing right here, but the standard like distressed brown and black. So, you know, do let me know if you, oh, and a pink beige is on its way and should be here any day. So it might be possible that by the time you see this video, the pink beige will be up. And let's see what else. Oh yeah, if you have any color requests for these, let me know. They work better, I think, with more of the tougher leather. I think the sheepskin with these, they it would be harder for them to hold their, their shape. But anyway, okay, so that was a long video. I hope it helped all of the people who requested it <laughs> and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.